All went according to plan, it seems. Yes. Cholmugo never suspected a thing. But why did you have me do it? Because now he will attack Zaiwei and start a war. Welcome, my lord. We have been expecting you. I trust you have kept the princess away from prying eyes. Of course, Lord Mushin. She is in very good hands. I see. Mm -hmm. And this child? Oh, this boy here. <laughs> this is a special treat you'll really enjoy. Introduce yourself. I'm ready to serve you, Lord Mushin. My name is Ryu. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Of course, what brings you back so quickly? Do you need help finding a sacred beast's heart? Master Soha may know some hunting locations. Impressive! And real, too. You certainly are efficient. Thank you, warrior. I will extract and refine the chi from this heart for you. This will take but a moment. Let me prepare the vessel. Do not look directly at the light. Warrior, I believe this is yours. Do not lose this, warrior. The attack on Zaiwei could happen at any time. And you must be prepared. I've only done my duty. You do not need to thank me. Remember to... Wait! Do you see that large man? He's stomping all over our botanical garden. These Tempest Guards have no sense of boundaries. Excuse me, warrior. I will handle this. Absolute brutes. These people. Sir, do you have an appointment? There you are! The Hong Moon hero in the flesh! It is an absolute pleasure to meet you again. It was a while ago. Remember back when Jin Suyin took over and we all charged into the Emissary's quarters? What a night, huh? I had a different haircut back then. Don't worry about it. The important thing is that I finally found you. And here, of all places, our honored Empress, Yun Mafei, humbly requests your presence. All I know is that she said it was an emergency. She's waiting for you in the main courtyard. Thank you, warrior. Divines be with you. Thank you for coming so quickly, warrior. My sources tell me you were illegally street fighting in the Hal Bazaar. There is no need to apologize. I fought in a few bouts too, back in the Red Guard. But I believe my adventuring days are over. Madden's successor predicted that? Warrior, this is very concerning. Zaiwei is still scarred from its last disaster. This cannot be a coincidence. Unfortunately, I did not summon you for a social call. Please, tell me what you think of this letter from the Dowager. Of course you are qualified. After all, she's asking about you. Please read the letter. Empress Yanma Fei, I send you a long overdue congratulations on your ascension to the throne. The turbulent history between our two peoples vexes me of late. And I wish for any enmity to end between the Stratus Empire and the Talus Dominion. I hereby invite your champion, the Hong Moon hero who defeated the villainous Chol Mugo, to join me at Dasari Palace in a first step toward a lasting peace. Empress, deep wounds have been inflicted on both sides. I implore you, let it end. Let peace reign between us. I eagerly await your response, and I hope to see the Hong Moon hero or even yourself, at Sweetwater Pavilion for a grand welcome. Charming, isn't she? What do you make of it? I wonder why the Dowager is suddenly feeling so diplomatic. I have heard she is slightly unhinged, but she is no fool. Well, warrior, she asked for you specifically. What do you think? I agree. My spies gather that the Dowager is still dabbling with the Dark Arts. She has already committed unspeakable atrocities against her own people. 
Who knows what she would do if she had you and your pupils as collateral. For now, I think you and I should decline. I will have the Nameless investigate her more thoroughly. Perhaps they can figure out why she is so interested in you and your students. Warrior, you know me well by now. Of course, I have secret spies embedded in the Dasari Palace. They have already divulged many of the Dowager's secrets. Given the circumstances, I believe it is time you all met. Nuya, please give us your report. By your grace, Empress. Hello, warrior. The Empress must trust you tremendously to include you in this meeting. Please understand that what we discuss here must never leave your lips, must never reach other ears. We are the Nameless, and we are the secret scourge of the Stratus Empire. To the Dowager, we are handmaids, sailors, merchants. To our Empress, we are her ears. You may call me Nuya. I've long abandoned the life I was born into so I could serve our Empress. My past is meaningless compared to my purpose, which is to overthrow the Dowager through any means necessary. Lately, the Dowager has distanced herself from the court, but she is always accompanied by her newly appointed Imperator. He is a young boy with scarlet eyes. She flaunts him, almost as if she is trying to foster rumors. Imperator Ryu, but warrior, please, I know he resembles your missing pupil. I think that's the point. She is trying to provoke you. Understand that the Dowager is playing with your emotions. From what I've heard, the new Imperator is dangerous and violent. He can't possibly be the boy you lost. Let us compromise. The Nameless and I will investigate. If the Imperator is in fact your missing pupil, we will try to bring him back alive. But you must understand that our loyalty to the Empress takes priority. Warrior. Warrior, please listen. I know what you are thinking, but do not do this. Your loyalty is so prominent that it is legendary. The Dowager knows this and is using it against you. You fought through Solok for that sweet little girl. Why did I think this would be different? I know you will. I will not stop you, but please, meet an agent of mine, Wunha, in the East Winds Inn. She has suffered from the Dowager's cunning firsthand. When you see her, tell her you are casting stones against the wind. After that, please listen to her advice. You will need it to survive in Dasari Palace. Do not overstay your welcome, warrior. May the Divines bless you. You got some kind of problem? You stumble into the wrong room, Mooncake? Unless you're here to take a drink order, how about you get lost? Is that so? Well, if Empress Tariff wants to see me, she can walk her beaded veil over here and... Oh, oh, forgive me. You don't look like a typical member of our group. I see Her Majesty has been recruiting. Wait, don't say anything. Don't even breathe. How about a little help? I'll make this quick. What do you have there? Ah, I recognize the seal on this letter. The Ebon Drake. Either he followed you in, or they're finally on to me. I'm a merchant captain, warrior. A legitimate business owner. And if you want to keep a secret society secret, you should probably stop saying it out loud. Anyway, what can I do for you? Why? Oh, are you taking that ship out of Faircloud? I thought that was for bigwigs only. That's not a good sign. Have you said anything bad about her lately? Been mouthing off to the Ebon Drake? What I can tell you is that she's jailed her own officials, commandeered half my fleet, requisitioned my profits, and she's really cozy with the Ebon Drake, in case you haven't noticed. No one's seen her son in weeks. People say she's unstable. Violent. If the Dowager asked for you by name, I think it's already too late. As long as you're in the Stratus Empire, she'll find you. If you want to survive in Dasari Palace, then trust no one. Nod and play along, but don't believe the advisors, the court maids, the generals, and especially the Dowager. Got it? That ship's leaving soon. Hop on if you want. It's your funeral. How lovely. You look like you might need some help. Yes, I am Nuya. How nice to make your acquaintance, for the first time. 
You must be the Hong Moon hero. And these are your pupils. How lovely of them to join us. How very cute. Warrior, we are so happy to welcome you to Empress Tehu's palace. However, I, I must warn you that the waves are quite choppy and perilous, especially for children. While I am overjoyed to join you on the trip to Dasari Palace, I must warn you that I have many affairs to attend to in the court. You will be completely on your own once we arrive. Kindly speak with Captain Intok when you're ready to board. Thank you. And remember, warrior, the winds can change at any moment. May the wind be at our back. You must be our honored guest. Captain Intok at your service. On behalf of Empress Tehu and the Stratus Court, it is my honor to welcome you aboard the Genteel Dragon. Now, it is my understanding that you may have a few younglings that will be joining us on our trip to Fortune Harbor. Not to worry. Children are always a special joy to have aboard, so long as they steer clear of the powder kegs in the hall. Are you ready to come aboard? Ah, the warrior has come. On behalf of Empress Tehu, I bid you welcome. I am Minister Jan Yong. We have been eagerly anticipating your arrival. Trust you will make yourself at home. And on that note, we have prepared a small banquet for you and your young charges. We request that you kindly join us at Sweetwater Pavilion. There is no more beautiful spot to receive guests in all of Gunwon City. Empress Tehu will be there to greet you. Oh, how exciting! Enjoy the splendor of the palace. Another day, same. How could this happen? How could this happen? Please, halt. I'm sorry, but you must remain in the hall. Nobody can leave during the banquet. Please return to the event. But you're an honored guest, so you must remain here. We'll have a guard look for your pupil. We are under strict orders. The Dowager will arrive shortly, so please do not raise a scene now. It will not go well for you. Thank you for your understanding and patience. Our guest has finally arrived. Ah, delighted to meet you. 
I pray this meeting will mark the beginning of a new era for the Stratus and the Talus. Have you enjoyed my palace? You have exceptional taste. Dasari is truly the jewel of Gunwan City. Yan Mafei was wise to send you, per my request. I think we will get along just fine. You know, if the Stratus Empire and Talus Dominion were united, there's no telling what we could achieve. But enough of that. I have someone I would like you to meet, brave warrior. He is the new Imperator of the Stratus Empire. He has heard much of your deeds. I will leave you two to talk. Is he the Wicked Master? I hear you're the hero who saved the Empire. You look exactly how I imagined. It's a great honor to be in your presence. I'm sorry. Have we met before? I can't imagine I'd forget meeting a great hero like yourself. You cut a rather striking figure. I think you may have mistaken me for someone else, Giansei. That aside, I was hoping to ask a favor of you. Please forgive my rudeness, but could you indulge me? Please spar with me? As the Royal Imperator, it would be a great privilege to learn from an accomplished warrior like you. Really? I didn't think you would agree so easily. I won't hold back, so please don't go easy on me. Let's begin. The warrior's skills are formidable, that much is certain. Thank you for that. It makes me realize I still have a long way to go. I need to be strong to properly serve the Empress. But it almost felt like you knew my moves before I did. I'd expect no less of the Master of the Hongmoon School. I should take my leave. Please, enjoy the rest of the banquet. Thank you again. Please excuse me. Enjoy the feast. Everyone will get their fill. Please escort the general out. Please, Please sir, follow down. me. Out of my way. I'll see myself out. Are you all right? Come on. You? What's with we the cold shoulder? Died. What the heck? So rude. It makes me sick that he would ruin our joyous occasion. It absolutely turns my stomach. I've lost my appetite. This banquet is over. Minister Jan Yong will prepare your quarters. Perhaps he will atone for his mistake in inviting Hondu in the first place. Consider this palace home, warrior. Let warrior, us retire. This way. I'm so sorry you had to witness such uncouth behavior. I invited the Chief General to this banquet out of respect for his office. But to think he would dare malign the Empress! Again, my profuse apologies. He is Ang Hondu, Chief General of the Stratus Army. He was the Imperator, but he was regrettably demoted due to outbursts like this. Frankly, Her Majesty's good grace is the only reason he hasn't been hauled off to Gunwon Prison. Ah, but I speak out of turn. I'm afraid the General's behavior has broken up the party, so to speak. Why don't you rest for a while? Excellent. Down the passageway to the left of the entrance, you'll find that a chamber has been prepared for you. Your pupils will stay in the chamber on the opposite side. Your young charges will be in excellent hands. Please, rest well. Master! 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 Please! Master? Yeah, sorry about running off like that. I felt much better once I got out of there. I don't know, it felt like pressure from all over and it was hard to breathe, like something was crushing me. Maybe the crowd was just too much for me. I am now, Master. Don't worry about me. But what about you? You look like something is on your mind? Okay, if you say so. Where are the others? 
I'll go catch up with them, Master. I don't want them worrying about me, too. I'll escort you. Forgive the intrusion. Honored warrior, what a pleasant surprise. We just finished preparing your quarters. I hope they meet your exacting standards. Please call if you need any assistance. We are here for your comfort. We'll leave you be. Welcome, welcome! Peaceful dreams, warrior. Apologies for the delay. I was attending to other guests in the pavilion. I hope I haven't held you up. These quarters are among the finest you'll find in the palace, and are reserved for honored guests. Rest assured, the servants will tend to your every need. The large room at the end of this hallway is yours. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. You are an honored guest, and you must be treated as such. I shall take my leave. Should any issues arise, please notify the soldiers stationed outside. Sleep well. Right on time. That's not to struggle. Only the loyal guards should take shifts tonight. You know what this means. Once the guests have retired, execute the plan. A plausible story is in place to explain the Xiaowei group's absence. Children are no exception. Anyone who disobeys will be executed as a traitor. Yes, hero? Did something disturb your slumber? Assassins? Surely you jest. Perhaps you are having a nightmare. A waking nightmare. Your students are resting comfortably. Turn back for your own safety. The only commands I follow come from Her Majesty. Return to your chambers. Now! I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, we prepared a second banquet. One in which your pupils are on the menu. Shall we dine? Nothing but the best for our guests.
Master, I'm so glad you came. I... I don't know. I was trying to get everyone ready for bed, but they weren't listening to me, as usual. Then, Jin Soyeon started screaming. She went into the room and closed the door. I thought maybe it was safer in there, but now I don't know. Yes, Master. I hope Jin Soyeon is okay. <laughs> It's about time you showed up. I thought we were done for. Is Jin so young okay? I'm sick of dealing with demons all the time. Why can't they just leave us alone? Well, just because you do most of the heavy lifting doesn't mean we're helpless, Master. We can handle ourselves. Though, I guess it is because of all you've taught us, but whatever. Come on, let's get this over with and get out of here. You better not be... Trouble always seems to come find us just when things seem nice, huh, Master? You don't have to tell me twice. I want to go home too, but what are we gonna do about this mess? You got it! Lead the way, Master! <laughs> <laughs> 